Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you that how can you create menus in WordPress. So, firstly, guys, in order to create menus, you need to go to Appearance, click on it, and then you need to click on Menus. Guys, please don't pay attention to this. Select a menu to add it. Don't pay attention to this. Just click on Create New, Create a New Menu, and then you can give it any name: Main Menu, Menu One, Menu Two. Because some themes have more than one menu. One menu you will see at the top and one menu you will see at the bottom in the footer. So you can give any name like footer menu, header menu. So I'm giving it a name of header menu. And then after that you need to click on this create menu button. Now you can see the menu has been created and you need to also check this automatically add new top level pages to this menu and click uh, also check this navigation menu theme locations and click on save menu now you can see the pages which we have created so firstly we will create some pages like we will create pages of form about its contact its services and services like web designing web development so firstly we'll uh, check which pages have we have created? So one, uh, first one is about us, and second thing, second is history, which is a child page of about us, which we have created in the previous tutorial. So I will remove it, and I will send it to the trash. And then first, for after that, I will create a new page, and I will give it name of home, and I will remove the comments from here and click on publish and I will create one more page and that will be your oh, services and click on publish after that I will create a page of contact us publish and one or uh, two pages of services so I will write Web designing then I write SEO search engine optimization and click on publish so click on all pages Oops, uh, I need to publish it now click on all pages now these are the pages which we have created first one is home about us contact us sample page we can also remove it so click on this trash link so now the pages are home contact us oops it's about us contact us home SEO services and web designing so we'll go to the menus firstly you can see th these three tabs first one is most recent means uh, you can see first one is a uh, pages second is links and third one is categories firstly click on the pages Okay, it is created by default. So I firstly I remove it from here. Then I will show you that how can you add it. So I remove it from here. It was added automatically because when we have created it was added automatically. So I will tell you the way how can you add it. So first one you will see most recent means most recent pages which we have just created. And second one is view all means all the pages which we have created. And third one is search means if you have more than 10 or 20 pages you want to search some page so you can search it from here so I'll click on the view all first one is home click on click on add to menu second one will be about us click on it or you can select all it it will be added to the menu the first one will be home, home about us and the contact us will be last so you need, just need to drag it and take it on the last it is a uh, drag and drop you can say so third one will be services so firstly guys I will save the menu click on save menu be ensure that these two checkboxes have been selected now you need to refresh it now I can see these are the menus which we have created home about our services SEO web designing and contact us now guys uh, SEO and web designing are the part of services so we need to create a drop down menu so you need to just drag it 
to the right side. Oops, you need to take it uh, uh, after the services and you need to drag it. Just save it. Now go to the browser and refresh. Now I can see home, Abaris, services, and these are the sub uh, menus of services menu. In this way, you can make more than one level, two level menus. You just need to drag it. Click on the save menu. Home, Abaris. Oops. I think I have done some mistake here. So again, I need to refresh. Home, Abaris, services. Yeah. SEO. Then web designing is the another level of menu. So I will take it here. Means if I will take about us here, then it will be it will become the sub menu of home. Save menu, refresh. I can see about us. So we just need to drag and drop it, and you can drag it top to bottom, bottom to top. It depends upon your requirement. Save menu, refresh. So now you can see the menu has been created. Now, guys, I will show you that how can you manage or organize menus according to the post categories. Suppose I am creating a blog of news. So news will be related to sports, uh, sports like football, volleyball, basketball, cricket, golf. So, so I'll go to the posts and click on the categories. First category, I will uh, the categories which we have already created is footballs. Uh, football news and sports. So I'll create category of uh, basketball. Click on add new category. Now basketball. Then cricket. Then golf. And then after this, mm, all right. Uh, table tennis. Add new category. Now, these are the categories of posts. Means uh, in these categories, we uh, these are the categories of posts. So we will organize this in the menu. Means we will like the menu will be like home, recent news, then basketball news, or whatever you want to use. So. Go to the appearance and click on the menu. Firstly, I remove I'll remove these menus so so that I will be able to use the menu of post categories. So remove it from here. Save menu and we need to refresh it. Now two menus and the rest of the menus will come from post categories. So click on categories guys if you don't know how to create posts and how to uh, make uh, work with post categories uh, you can watch my it may be my third or fourth tutorials of a post in WordPress so you need to click on view all first one will be most used and second will be view all and third one will be search so I'll click on the view all the first uh, menu which I want to create is uh, sports add to menu save it you can see these are the categories okay so refresh sports means all the posts related to sports will be inside this menu now right now it's showing nothing found because uh, uh, we don't uh, we haven't create, created any post yet in this category so in the same way you can use these categories also table tennis and the rest of the menus so I will uh, click on the same menu so you can see home about sports basketball news will become uh, means post of basketball category will come inside this menu and same the same with cricket golf and table tennis you can also make this drop down menu means under sports just drag and drop it click on save menu Refresh. I can see sports, basketball, cricket, golf, and table tennis. So, guys, it is not meant. Uh, it is not 
fixed that uh, the category name will be same in the menu you can also change it like basketball I want to change it to basketball news so you need to click on this this arrow you can see down arrow you click on it you need to click on it and uh, I want to write basketball news here you can see original is basketball but we have changed the label so you can also enter the title I want to show you what is title is it's basketball save menu now you can see basketball news and title you can see when you hover your mouse over it you will see the title so now we have created the menu we have organized the menu according to the post category now third thing which we will do click on the links tab you can see links guys suppose if you want to make a custom menu means you want you know this URL of uh, a menu like uh, you want to connect your blog to some other website or a single post like I created this post I'll click on it this is the post URL so with, I will copy it and I will paste it here URL and now I will need to write the label means I will need to write the text of this menu so I will write my custom menu add to menu you can see my custom menu go to the browser and refresh now you can see my custom menu and the post this post will become inside this menu means if you know the URL means if you want to connect uh, if you want to connect your blog or website to other website you need to enter the URL and the text like I want to connect this my websofttutorials.com to my second website its websoftclasses.com I need to enter the URL here and then I will enter the text which I want to enter like my second website websoftclasses.com is whatever the text which I want to give to it so in this way you can work with menus you can make drop down menus and uh, you can manage manage according to the pages and according to the post categories so guys if you still have any question you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial